I'm John Hayes, Outdoors Editor with the Post-Gazette. I'm hunting this morning in Washington County with Abby Abendanza, a uh, former uh, lead singer with Poverty Neck Hillbillies. Uh, as he pursues his uh, music career, he's also a professional hunter with Bullseye Outdoors Show, which is on the uh, Sportsman's Channel. Abby, we're, uh, 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 we're going to go out this afternoon for some deer. Um, I can't wait. What do deer smell? Deer communicate. Their whole worlds are sent. John, uh, deer have so many membranes in their, in their nasal passage that when they take that deep breath, they're checking for foreign odors. They're checking for predators. Uh, also to communicate with other deer to understand that there's it's safe, it's okay to go here because I know the smell. If they smell a smell that's foreign, they're gone. That's where you hear that, that typical, that mature doe, you know, they snort. And, they, and they're gone. All you see is white tails waving to you. But, uh, and they also communicate with, with grunts and bleats, and that's how they communicate with each other. Everybody knows to hunt with the wind in your face, but tell me some other things that hunters can do to get the wind on their side. You want to spray down. Spraying down with a, a cover scent or a neutralizer is only so good. I mean, nothing's 100%. You're not going to fool a deer's nose. I mean, that, that, but the best thing you can do to keep it, that on your side is play the wind. I only hunt my stands when the wind's right, and I always check the wind every morning. I go out and I check it throughout the day in, in the stand with my blackberry because the wind changes all the time. And uh, but your prevailing wind is what you want to want to keep checking. Now, in in most rural areas, there's some farmhouses around. There's people coming through all the time. Deer are, deer smell humans all the time. Right. What triggers them if if you're out in the woods hunting? Why is that unusual for them? Well, they know their boundaries. They know where those people travel. Let's say if a farmer is doing tractor and he goes down the tractor path every day, he kn they know that, that that's why when you see deer, they'll just stand there and look at it with the tractor. Uh, I, I've been in stands where I could see the tractor going by and the deer just stand there and watch them. Now, if he gets off that tractor, they know there's something wrong. So they know. It's just like you and I know something's safe. They, they know when it's good and when it's not good. And if it's a different kind of odor to them in the woods, that they're not used to. So it's it's the scent of humans in an unusual situation, not something specific like the smell of toothpaste. Right. Or what about like a cigarette smoke or coffee or something? I know guys that smoke, and I know guys that kill huge deer every year and smoke, but they play the wind. You know, a mature buck, you're not going to get a shot at a mature buck during archery season without playing the wind. Worst case situation for a hunter is light swirling winds where there's humidity and it's just the winds going every different direction right what can you possibly do personally i like to get high in a stand i, I put all my stands uh 22 to 25 feet and i try to stay out of bottoms because bottoms that's where everything swirls in the bottom and it, it goes out the bottom this way and goes out the bottom this way and then it'll go up your hills so i try to stay i try to step on the higher po elevation points and if you're on a flat surface high Let's name the game. Let's go find some deer. Let's do that. I'm John Hayes, Outdoors Editor with the Post-Gazette.